Hi everybody, my name is Marissa Robbins. I am the Director of Youth Ministries at Christ the King Lutheran Church. And you have gotten your art camp bag and you are ready to go and you're like, what is all this stuff and what am I gonna do with it? So this is your, what is all this stuff and what am I gonna do with it video. So here it is, it's a bag. But it is so much more than that. It is also, you can cut it apart and it can be your drop cloth or you can just lay it on your table and it can be a drop cloth because it's a mess keeper. So, and then at the end you can recycle it. It's a mess keeper. These are your recycled greeting cards. There are a whole big old pile of recycled greeting cards, recycled greeting fronts, and then there are uh, plain greeting cards that you will need for one of your Christmas projects, and that is what that is. You have a little bowl. I tried to include just about everything you are going to need. This is plastic bowl, nothing fancy, but I wanted to include something so that you had water to keep and so that you didn't have to get uh, paint water in your cups so that that is what that is for. It is to keep your water in for when you have to paint and you can dump it out. You can also use it when you need to, when you do your sculpting project to get your little fingers wet if you have cracked uh, sculpting clay. So this is literally just to put water in. You have two extra paint brushes. That is what that is. You have a spoon and a fork. Your spoon and your fork are to go with your clay. Or not spoon. You have a knife and a fork. You have a knife and a fork. A knife and a fork. You have a Christmas ornament for your painting project on the Christmas project. These are acrylic paints. They are not washable. They will not come out of clothes. They will not come off. They, they will wash off the dinner, dinner table, but that is why you need a drop cloth. That is why you need an old t-shirt to paint in. They will wash off your fingers, but they are acrylic paint. So, you have clay. This is non-toxic. This is air dry clay. This is paintable clay. It is smushy. It is just plain old clay. You have a rock. Obviously, it's rock. You have two pieces of photo paper. This is the kind of photo paper that you would stick in your printer. It is for a painting project, but we recycled it. It was, it's kind of a shiny surface. We recycled it into a painting project. So there should be two pieces in there somewhere. You have a paper clip set of watercolor paper. You should have four pieces of watercolor paper in your bag. You have a big set of paper clipped paper. There's a little piece of paper for a project. There is um, your roll of dice project. There's white paper. There is drawing, specific drawing paper that I had. There is extra paper. You just have a bunch of paper. You have two magazines. These are old magazines that we had lying around. Um, but you're going to use, magazines are always fun to just cut out of and cut pictures. And these are for your treasure box specifically. So. Have fun with those. You have a treasure box. 
Some of you may have ones that haven't been put together yet. Um, so you just open those and put those together pretty easy. But you have a treasure box that the Good Feet store provided us for free. Yay! Um, and so that is what those are. You have two little tiny canvas. Most of you have ones that look like business cards. There are a couple of you that will have square ones, but little tiny canvases for your treasure map doodle. And then last but not least, you have a cardboard piece of cardboard. Your piece of cardboard is for your vase photo op. That will be your one that you draw a vase on and then you poke little holes in and then you can walk around and stick flowers and stick little leaves in and take pictures of and make different art projects. So all of those things will be inside of your uh, bag, including an instruction sheet that will tell you all about how to do all of these um, projects. If you have any questions, there's also a phone number on there. You can text me, you can call me and say, ah, what do I do with these things? Help me and I will um, let you know how to do them. I can also Zoom with you and Zoom with your child and help you through those things. Um, since we can't do face-to-face, -face, makes it a little harder. And so I really wish we could do Art Camp face-to-face. -face. I really miss this. And thank you all so much for taking part in Art Camp. Um, I really look forward to seeing y'all next year and really look forward to hopefully, hopefully seeing you at other activities at Christ the King. Thank you. Have a great time with these projects.